Hey everyone, it's V. Welcome back to my channel. I know it has been quite a while since I have filmed a video. I've been very busy with summer classes, but I'm finally done, so here I am. And it's also been a very long time since I filmed a sit-down video, so I decided I would do one of those instead of a vlog for once. <laughs> this is going to be a Closet Child haul. Closet Child is a second-hand J Fashion and Lolita store. They ship internationally. I've always been super into J Fashion since I was young, but the style was never really accessible to me living in North America so I wasn't really able to get into the style. I love Liz Lisa back in like 2012. Um, yeah once I found Closet Child I was like this is great like it's such an easy way to get a bunch of different J fashion brands and has really allowed me to try out the style so I decided I would share what I got with you. This has been about four months of accumulation. I did like two big orders um, and then I also got a dress off of lace market which i decided i would show as well because it fits the theme of being secondhand j fashion i will start with this dress that i'm wearing right now this is from the brand secret honey i love their dresses they're always super pretty and i saw this one and it really called to me uh, when i was younger i was super into like space and astronomy and stuff so i really like this dress because it has an astrology print on it and it has this nice tie here which gives some visual interest to the neck area which i think is really pretty you can also detach the strings so if you don't want to wear them you can just take them off kind of off the shoulder and there's lace along the neckline which i think is really pretty and there's a nice little ruffle around the shirt at the waist as well and then yeah the print is just different constellations and the different names of the astrological signs one thing i have issues with with north american clothing is that dresses and skirts are usually way too short for me but for some reason even though most women in japan are definitely not five foot nine the dresses and the skirts fit me really well, so very grateful for that. This one's definitely a good length for me. Yeah, I really like this. It's very pretty and there's so many nice little touches to it that make it feel very elegant and pretty. Another dress that I got, actually these are the only two dresses I got from Closet Child. This is a baby doll dress from the brand Princess Doll. That's another nice thing. A lot of things from Closet Child are new with tags. So I don't know if people just donate them and just never wore them. But this one's kind of big on me, but it does have ties where you can tighten it in the front and in the back, which makes it a little bit more form-fitting. So it is a baby doll dress, so, you know, it's kind of the point is to be big apart from the waist part. So yeah, it's really, really nice. It's quite long. It comes down to my knees. It has a nice little ruffle and lace detailing on the edge, and I think it's really pretty. I never read the descriptions well enough. They are in Japanese, but normally I can make out the colors, but I never pay enough attention. I thought this was purple, but it's more of like a gray color. It, it still kind of reads purple. I like it. I think it works well with my hair color. Yeah, this is just such a nice light material and super comfortable. Really, really nice. I got this for... It was 70% off at this, on the site. I think I got it for $30. And I looked up this brand and the dresses usually go for around 200. So definitely a steal. It's really, really nice and lightweight. And I will wear this a lot in the summer, I'm sure. It gives me like almost cottage core picnic vibes, but just like a little bit more in J fashion. All right, I guess I'll go to tops. This was one of the first items that I bought. This is from Liz Lisa. And this is the only Liz Lisa piece that I bought. I find Liz Lisa on their website goes very quickly that is quite a popular brand but I'm glad I got this because it's really cute I've already worn this in one of my videos so you may have seen it already it's this sheer kind of chiffon blouse and again as I said I love all of the details that Japanese brands put into their clothing this one has a really nice lace panel at the front little ruffly sleeves it says dress up doll on it which kind of reminds me of the anime my dress up darling and it has this nice ribbon detailing going through the neckline and then comes together they're at a little bow here and with a button so you can do up the neck that way i think this is just so pretty and so lightweight and perfect for the summer very girly and frilly and i love it a lot this one's also new with tags um this is by the brand lotus poto yeah this is a little kind of knit blouse it has a slight v-neck and beading around the neckline and it has very similar roughly sleeves to the Lizzie zone but the middle of the sleeves are lace and then they have this sheer paneling 
on the outer part. So I think that's really cool, very visually interesting and very unique. It's very comfortable and I think it's very pretty. So I got two more wintry long sleeves, I guess. The issue is their stuff goes really quickly. So I was like, for the price, I could get these items and then just wear them in the winter because they're not really appropriate for the summer heat here. But I decided to get them anyways just because they were quite inexpensive. I believe this was like three or four dollars. This is a little mock neck long sleeve from Anc Rouge. It's black, so it might be a little hard to see, but it does have a really nice lace trim around the neck and a little velvet bow which I think is a nice touch. I like to wear a lot of turtlenecks and mock necks in the winter and this one has nice little girly touches to it that my other ones don't so I really really like this one. It's a nice ribbed material and very thick. And then I also got this one which is by the brand Fint. Again just long sleeved and this one has a nice mesh paneling at the front with little polka dots and similar to the Liz Lisa blouse, it has that ribbon detailing here and then has the bow in the middle. And the neckline is very ruffly and you just do it up with buttons at the back. And this one's really nice and comfortable and will be perfect for the winter. And I also got this one here, which is by the brand Evelyn. I believe this was new with tags as well. I just don't know where the tag went because I have worn it. This is more of like a light sweater long sleeve definitely you could wear this in the summer on a cooler day it's like a nice rosy pink color and it has ties for bows on the shoulders which i think is such a cute touch and the hemline is a little bit higher in the front which i like yeah this is just super comfortable i like how the v-neck is on the back and the front it's very comfortable very soft and yeah <laughs> i don't know what else to say about these honestly they're all cute but i can't keep saying that <laughs> So move on to cardigan. I have this one, which I really love. This is one of my favorite pieces I think that I got. It's this short sleeve cardigan from Milk. I feel like these are quite popular in North America as well right now, but it has nice ruffles around the neckline and on the sleeves. And the buttons are little pearls, which I think is a nice touch as well. It's like paneled at the bottom and it says Milk in cursive. Yeah, I think this is really comfortable and just really nice to wear in the summer. Really nice material. Um, and then I have this one, which is black. It's, it's like a similar cut to that one, but it's black. It's by the brand En Rouge, and it has bows along the front. It's kind of hard to see because it's black. I'm going to get washed out. Um, and then the buttons are heart-shaped, which I think is also so adorable. And there's scalloping around the neckline and sleeves, and then of it's just roughly along the bottom this is really cute it's really thick and comfortable as well I'm kind of trying not to wear as much black because it's hard to pair with other colors but i think black and purple work really well together and then i have two long sleeve cardigans here this one is by the brand and another angelus it's like a pinky brown color it's just kind of like a basic knit cardigan with almost little balloon sleeves. It's not oversized or anything, but it's definitely very comfortable and warm. I believe it's like a wool and mohair mix. So very, very cozy when it gets colder. And then one thing I didn't notice before I tried it on was that the buttons have little cameos on them, which again is such a cool detail that I didn't even notice when I was ordering it. But yeah, I really like this one. It's super cozy. I get cold pretty easily, so it's nice to have cardigans to wear over tops and with dresses. Okay, and then the last cardigan I got is this one. It's a nice lilac purple. It's very, it's more of a pinky warm tone. I'm not sure if that's reading on camera. This is by the brand Amavel, which I had not heard of before I ordered from Closet Child, but I really like the brand. They make a lot of cute things. So this one again, just long sleeved, and this one has galloping around the neckline, the hem, and the sleeves as well which I think is a nice touch. And the buttons on this one kind of remind me of Moonstone, just the way that they reflect the light. I think it's really pretty. And then on the side here, there is an embroidered key and it says Circus of Fairyland. <laughs> and the key kind of reminds me of a keyblade, which I think is fun. Yeah, I really like this one. I love purple, but I don't wear it enough. I mean, my name literally means purple, so I feel like I'm obligated to have more purple 
my wardrobe. So yeah, I like this one a lot. It's quite lightweight as well. The last top that I bought is just a little cotton t-shirt by Candy Stripper. They make really cute designs. And I saw this one for $5 and I thought it would be just perfect for comfier, more casual days when I don't feel like dressing up. So this one has the back of a little bunny. I thought it was really cute. It's screen printed on there, so it's not gonna crack or anything. Typically, I don't like t-shirts with these shorter sleeves. I like the ones that like come to my elbows, but this one actually has such a nice fit to it and it's so comfortable. The cotton is so soft and thick, pretty long as well. Again, that's usually a concern I have with like sleeve lengths and stuff, but I don't really think I've had an issue with anything that I've ordered. Really love this one. It's super comfortable. All right, I guess we will move on to skirts because those are the last pieces that I have here. So the first ones I got is this one from the brand Amabel. This was also new at Tags. What I love about Japanese skirts and dresses is that everything is lined. So this one has a really comfortable shimmery lining underneath. It's like a nice beige color. It's very comfortable, fully shirred in the back. Most items are one size or free size, so they put shirring in a lot of skirts just to make sure they fit a wider range of sizes. Again, with some funny English, it says, it's fun, tea party on the waistband with a nice gold piping along it as well. I really love this one, it's comfortable and I can wear it more casually as well, which I really like. Next, I have this skirt from another, and another Angelus. <laughs> It's a mouthful. This one has a side zipper, which is very nice. It has a little bit of shirring as well. It has little purple roses on it. Yeah, it's very, very lightweight and comfortable. I like this one a lot. Again, it is lined, and then the, the overlay goes a little bit longer than the lining. Yeah, very comfortable, very lightweight, perfect for the summer, and I've been wearing this one a lot. Then I have this one, which is from Anc Rouge. This one still has the tag on it as well. It's light pink with white vertical stripes. It has little letters on the bottom with little light purple bows and then a purple ribbon trim here as well. And the lining, it has a light pink ruffle which peeks out at the bottom, which I think is really cute. It definitely isn't a Lolita skirt, but I feel like it's kind of Lolita adjacent. Again, fully shirred in the back and it has little waist tie as well, which is very hard to do by yourself, but yeah, it's very, very cute. I like this a lot. Definitely a little bit more extravagant than what I'm used to wearing, but definitely something I think I will get some wear out of. So this one here, I really, really wanted, and I'm surprised it stayed on the website as long as it did, because I kept seeing it and I was like, I should buy that, um, but I waited, and then they still had it on the website, so I'm really glad I got this one. It is a Anc Rouge and Disney collaboration. Again, still has the tags on it. It has partial shirring in the back and a zipper, which is awesome. It's a nice light purple color with two little bows on the waist. And it has Murray on it with little bows and Eiffel Towers. And it says Bonjour Paris on it. I just think it's so cute and it has a nice little ruffle trim on it. I think this is so pretty. I like how it doesn't have a specific waistband. It just kind of flows. The material is so nice to feel as well. I really, really like this one and I'm so glad that I was able to get it. As I mentioned, I think black works really well with purple. So I think that the black Anc Rouge cardigan would work really well with this skirt. This one is also Anc Rouge. This one doesn't have a zipper and I really wish it did because it's a little tighter. It does have a full back shirring, is a little bit smaller than the other ones and it's a little bit short as well so i think i might need to get a pannier or something to wear under some of the shorter skirts this one i saw and i immediately fell in love with like the coloring really reminds me of christmas time and like winter and fall with the cream and the red i just think it is such a nice color combination and the main thing that sold me on this too was the heart-shaped pockets on the front again very small probably can't put anything in these but they're heart-shaped and they're roughly along the borders it's so cute this one also has french on it and it has little boxes on it or little presents 
Some of them have bears in them and flowers and music notes and I just think it's really pretty and yeah, I, I wish it was a little bit longer but I think I can make it work especially if I wear something else underneath it. The lining also has a nice ruffly trim on it. Yeah, I really like this one. Fall and winter are my favorite season, so I am very excited for them to come around again so I can wear this. And then lastly, I have this skirt, which is honestly a little bit small right now, so hopefully I can get this to fit at some point. It does have a zipper along the side but there is no showing at all. This is by the brand Lois Crayon, which I've never heard of before, but I love the length of this one and the fact that it is layered. So it has the same kind of lining as the other one with the ruffles at the bottom and then this satiny layer and then a sheer layer over top. So this moves really, really nicely. The waistband is also kind of layered and I think this is just so nice and would go well with so many pieces because it is like just like a light cream color. I just wish it had shirring. All right, um, so that's everything that I bought from Closet Childs. I'm very happy with everything. Japanese clothes, it's just such high quality and they put so much attention to detail into everything and honestly, it's all super, super nice. So the last thing I wanted to show you was this dress that I got off of Lace Market. So Lace Market is it's a website where people in the Lolita community can resell their dresses. I've always been interested in Lolita, but I thought I could never wear it. I thought it was too extravagant and that I couldn't pull it off. But a lot of my friends told me that if I wanted to try it, I should. So I decided to try to find a dress. And I'd heard about Lace Market a lot. One of my friends bought a dress off of there and recommended it. Yeah, I kind of browsed on there for a few weeks and then I found this dress, which is Angelic Pretty's Girl's Heart, JSK in Saks. I think it's so pretty. I'd never heard of this dress before. It's not really one of the super popular AP prints, I don't think, but I think that's what drew me to it more as well because I haven't seen anyone really wearing this dress, so it makes it more unique to me. I love light blue, it's my favorite color. And I love that the overlay is chiffon, so it gives it a nice airy and light feeling. The straps and the neckline all the way around have ruffling with that same material with the pattern on it. The straps are even adjustable. There's two buttonholes so you can make them a little bit longer and the whole back is shirred with removable waist ties, which is really nice depending on how you want to wear it. Yeah, I just, I love this print so much. It's very interesting with the different items on it, but I think it, it works very well. I did not try this on for the video just because I don't have a full coordinate for it yet. And I don't have a petticoat or anything to wear with it because it doesn't do it justice. So yeah, I really want to wear this to a convention I'm going to later in the year. I think that'll kind of give me the confidence to wear it out because a lot of people will be dressed a little bit more extra. So yeah, it has a nice little light turquoisey bow on it with these hanging beads, which is really pretty. Yeah, and what I really, really like about this dress as well is that once the lining ends, it is still a little bit longer. So there's like a good, maybe like 15 centimeters on the bottom because I was always worried that the dresses would be too short for me but because this one has that extra length to it it comes to my knees which is great so it'll definitely look nice with a petticoat I'm very happy with this dress took like a month to get here but it's so worth it yeah I'm really really happy with this dress it's so beautiful yeah so that is it for this haul I'm really happy with everything that I bought closet child's really really awesome to shop on they ship super quickly, although shipping is a little bit more expensive internationally right now because they're only doing DHL. But honestly, with how inexpensive most of the pieces I bought were, I feel like it evens out and it wasn't too bad. And at the end of the day, I finally found a style that I feel really comfortable and confident wearing. And you know, I don't mind paying a little bit extra in shipping if it means that I get clothes that make me really happy. And I'm really happy that um, Closet Child makes J Fashion more available to people outside of Japan. So yeah, I highly recommend them if you want to look for some new clothing items. They're super easy to shop on. The website is in Japanese, but it's pretty easy to translate and navigate. So I highly recommend the website. Yeah, so with that, we've come to the end of the video. Thank you all so, so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye.